seed quality has a huge influence on plug and subsequently finished plant quality. And generally speaking, when you harvest seed from a mother plant, quality only diminishes over time. So in order to maximize seed quality and plant performance once seed is sown, exercise best practices when storing your seed before you can use it. There's a few key rules to remember for seed storage. First, to store seed at approximately 41 degrees Fahrenheit or five degrees Celsius, and somewhere between 25 to 30% relative humidity. For every 10 degrees Fahrenheit increase in temperature, you cut your seed's shelf life in half. Also, for every 1% increase in seed moisture content, that will also cut shelf life in half. And these effects are additive. They don't, they don't stand alone. James's rule, also sometimes referred to as the rule of 100, combines these two factors in temperature, in degrees Fahrenheit, and percent relative humidity. The rule is that your combined temperature and relative humidity should never exceed 100. So let's say, for example, you're, stored, you're storing seed at 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 50% relative humidity. Add those two values together, you get 90. That's below that threshold of 100. So that's generally accepted as an appropriate storage environment. Again, anything above that temperature-wise or much above that humidity-wise, you start to get closer to that value of 100 and you're gonna start to see diminishing seed quality over time. For more details and for sort of a good, better, best type approach, check out our seed storage best practices document posted on ballseed.com. And on the tail end, if you have any extra seed that wasn't used on the sow line that's going back into storage, let your seed equilibrate on the other end. Also, if you have a relative humidity control in your seed storage area, you can leave the container open for about 24 hours before you seal it back up. That way, any humidity and any moisture that was absorbed by seed in the head house can get pulled back out so that you're, again, not increasing that moisture content and reducing seed shelf life.